What if there existed a simple commandment capable of transforming the world around us? A commandment so profound that it could usher in unity, peace, and love into our lives and communities. Today, we explore such a commandment, once spoken over 2,000 years ago, yet still resonating today in John chapter 13, verse 34. This verse reads, A new command I give you, love one another, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. These words spoken by Jesus to his disciples hold within them a powerful message of love and unity. But what does it mean to love one another as Jesus loved us? And why did he describe it as a new command? Let's break it down. In the context of the Bible, the word love has a deeper and more profound meaning than how it's often used today. It's not merely about feelings or affection. It's about a selfless, sacrificial kind of love that seeks the best for others, even at a personal cost. This is the kind of love Jesus demonstrated throughout his life and ultimately in his death. So when Jesus commands his disciples to love one another, he's asking them to extend this selfless, sacrificial love towards each other. He's setting a new standard for love, one that goes beyond cultural norms and expectations, one that mirrors his own love for humanity. And yet, he describes this as a new command. Why new? Because while the Old Testament did command love for one's neighbor, Jesus takes it a step further. He sets himself as the model for this love, creating a new, higher standard. It's no longer just about loving others as we love ourselves. It's about loving others as Jesus has loved us. So what does this mean for us today? It means that we're called to love selflessly and sacrificially. It means that our love should not be confined by our comfort zones or our preferences. It means that our love should reflect the love of Jesus, extending grace, forgiveness, and kindness, even when it's difficult. In essence, this verse is a call to transformative love. It's a call to unity, to break down barriers and build bridges of understanding. It's a call to reflect the love of Jesus in our interactions with others, to love not just in words, but in actions and in truth. To summarize, we've learned today that John chapter 13, verse 34 is not just about love, but a new, higher standard of love. We've learned that this love is selfless and sacrificial, mirroring the love of Jesus. And we've learned that this love is transformative with the power to bring unity, peace, and understanding. But remember, this love is not just a command, it's a gift. It's a gift that we've received from Jesus and a gift that we're called to share with the world. So as we go about our daily lives, may we strive to live out this new commandment to love one another as Jesus has loved us. Because in doing so, we're not just transforming our lives, but potentially the world around us.